pulling in. Yes, sir. Alrighty, ladies and gents, this is the start of a journey uh, with the Niles Honda team. Hopefully everything works out. Obviously, this is the very beginning stages of it. Um, it's pretty much done deal at this point. However, we're going full force into it. We're obviously here at Donnell's to pick up a new 2023 Honda CRF 450R. Um, so yeah, gonna be a new color for us. We're gonna try some new stuff, but we're gonna kind of get a video of this whole experience, whole process, getting to the first round, etc. Obviously for vlog and just to keep you guys entertained. So. Kind of scary, to be really honest, going to a completely different bike and completely different everything, but uh, excited for the new journey and finally getting an opportunity and being a part of the World Supercross stuff. So, that being said, we're here at Donnell's. Let's go get ourselves a motorcycle. Howdy, boss. How you doing? Good. 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 So this is the 23R, yes. right? So like this is like the best model that they have, I guess. Uh, other than the works edition. Yeah, yeah. other than their pack, that's their yeah. factory edition. Yeah. Sure. Like are their stock chains and sprockets pretty solid? I don't know if I've changed mine. I don't even think I've changed mine. Oh, so you've run just what with Kim stock on it? Pretty sure. Okay. Because um, I've already got I've got a set of plastics coming for it. I've got chains and sprockets, air filters. The bars are the same thing as like KTM bars, right? They're just the fat bar that you can change out. Yeah, yeah, the the diameter and everything is yeah. the same. I actually really like this bend. I run this bend. Is that titanium? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> up a dirt bike. And you're right, it doesn't have that loop up. You know what's in here tight then. It was at this moment that he knew. He was <laughs> done. <laughs> but that one, that big a deal to do. Okay. okay. How many bikes in total from Ferry? Thing's built for KTM's. Let's see if a Honda fits it. This uh, toolbox might be an issue. Look at like that. It's like it's meant to be. Alrighty, day one on the old Honda, the red bike. We're getting ready right now. Um, this is why we love Oakley. We get to set up the fresh stuff. Got some nice clean white goggles here, but yeah, we're just gonna get out there and have it rode it at all. Didn't get to ride it in the parking lot because it was raining when we uh, picked it up. So we're gonna see what it feels like, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Try it out. And let you guys know. stock suspension haven't touched anything it felt pretty good I think corners really well like that's what I was kind of told coming in 
that these things are easy to turn. But I'll wash the front end because it just tracks so well. So, you know, once you get a little bit stiffer suspension, you can really lean into something. I think it'd be really good. So, whew, that was fun. So I just came in and destroyed a massive snake. Oh, he's getting away. Hold on. Ew. Look at that guy. He's a big one. And you can see how nippy he is. <laughs> a little bit naughty. Whoa. Come on, buddy. Yeah, dude, I just landed. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> I just landed and just tacoed him. I'm surprised homie's alive. He's coming for you. All right, back to riding. Good. Yeah, dude, it handles super well. It's a little bit skinnier than the KTM, so it's really easy to move it with your legs, which I kind of like. Huh. So it's a little bit more narrow, eh? Yeah, it corners really well, but like it's got motocross suspension on it. That's why we're just doubling everything. We're not doing any triples, just having fun with it. You but, tripled that bit? That... Oh, well, that's <laughs> like not in a rhythm section. Rhythm section, we got to seat into something. I don't yeah. want none of that action. Right. But like even the corners, like even when I get squirrely kind of come into that, in the rut, dude, it'll walk into the rut and go, which is nice. Huh. I kind of kept, I always have a stand-up sensation on the KTM right now. That's what we've been struggling with, so. Curious to get suspension, like Supercross suspension on this and actually like see if it's the stand-up feeling too or if this thing tracks. Solid first day. Awesome. A couple 15 minuteers. We'll keep testing. Oi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. All the way from Italy, Honda Nils. All right, let's get this bad boy open. I don't know how I want to open this. What in the world did they wrap in? You boys never had that green and blue. Yee doggy, baby. All right, let's go on to the next box. Yes, sir. What? I said an XL. Come on, boys. I said I was a medium, not no XL. Dang. It must be different sizing because that fits pretty alright. Alright ladies and gentlemen, suspension has arrived. So we'll get this open real quick. Uh, next thing for us is we've obviously got a little bit of time in on the track without Supercross suspension. But this is our show at A-Kit Stuff. I've never had anything that's got this green blue tint. So if you come down in here and check that out, it's actually gonna be pretty sweet. Our main man, Decker Performance. Ben Decker with Decker Performance, getting it all set up uh, for Supercross. So should be pretty stiff. And then finally we can start hitting all the rhythms, big jumps and actually doing some testing. So let's get this on the bike and get started. is all put on it's definitely a little bit more of a process than with the KTM putting a rear shock on you had to lift the whole subframe if you guys have a better way of doing it hit me down in the comments so I know for next time however it's my first time doing it that's what I was kind of told is the best way other than that let's get ready and get to testing hmm. 
102. Beautiful. I'm going to run it. Lock it down. Yep. I'm going to break in a little bit. Thank you guys for tuning in for the first part of our journey with the Nils Honda team. Before you go, we've got two really cool ways for you guys to get involved with the program. The first way is joining the Moran's Mafia at levels five, six, or seven, which is our top tier Patreons, and getting your first and last name on our race jerseys for World Supercross races. You can do this by hitting the link in the description or going to kevinmorans.com in the Join Moran's Mafia tab and joining that way. And secondly, we'll be doing their helmet wrap branding at every single round of World Supercross. However, there are only six rounds so it's very limited. If you guys are interested in this, getting your company, your logo, family name, anything like that on here and getting branding with it, you'll get a vlog shout out. Obviously the wrap will be on for the races and potentially even sign the helmet, you get to keep the helmet. So this is up for grabs for any company who's willing to support the program. All you guys have to do, get in touch with me, shoot me a DM, email me, anything like that. KevinMorans.com is where you can find a large majority of this information. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video. And that's been another Kevin Morans vlog. Be sure to subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next video.